6 19 in the morning we're about to kill chess well i'm about to kill chess because nobody's working out with me today cherry cola oreos don't get them that was like a cheat that could have happened that's never going to happen if you want something that you're not gonna cheat with just go buy those cherry cola oreos because they're absolutely disgusting let's do a scoop of pump fuel today scoop of otargo gonna blend this up in some hot water About five or six sweet tarts. I'll see you guys at the gym. Hope you guys follow me on my journey to get shredded. I've been cheating on my diet pretty much every day. Anything that can be measured can be improved. Eight oh nine on day forty nine of summer shredding. Chest workout went really well. I'm noticing that the calorie deficit is really starting to affect my endurance. Like I feel drained, completely drained after this workout. Spent some time in the sauna, sweat out some bad and uh, I'm not supposed to say it. Hopefully we can bleep that out. Spent some time in the sauna. It felt good. Sweated out a lot of stuff. So I'm on my way home. I gotta get changed for work. It's the first Saturday of the month. I gotta perform at work, so hopefully a little bit of caffeine's gonna wake me up. I'm gonna do a quick weigh-in when I get home, see where I'm at. I haven't weighed myself in a long time, so this could be uh, a good or a bad thing. I started restricting calories again, 1,800 calories a day. I've been more on point with that lately. The 30-day stretch is right around the corner, so day 49, summer shredding. I gotta get to work. I'm gonna do a quick weigh-in. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Good morning, YouTube. It is... May 6, which makes this day 50 of summer shredding. I'm gonna do a quick weigh in. 151. I got shoes on until probably right around 150, which is cool. It's exactly where I wanna be. I'm going to hit legs today. I was supposed to be working out with my sister today, and then she totally bailed on me. So I'm gonna fly solo today, like Han Solo. Don't get cocky! And uh, I'm gonna do legs. Wish me luck. Boring conversation anyway. <laughs> I'm on my way to the gym right now. I don't have a spotter, so today I'm probably gonna do a lot of machine exercises just so I can push heavier weight and not have to worry about if I can't make it. Excited for the lift, feeling good. Cavs won last night. Three seconds in. Throws up the floater. Oh, flash! Good night, Cleveland! That is for you! So, smiles on the face today. We're gonna hit it hard. I'm on my way to the gym now. I don't have anybody to record, and I don't have one of those cool, like, magnetic cases that can record me doing the exercises. I am gonna get one of those so I can give you guys, you know, at least brief ideas of what I'm doing when I'm working out by myself. But I always recommend working out with somebody. I just didn't have anybody to work out with today. I think everybody else went out last night. I did not, and they probably got hammered. Nobody wants to lift after they get hammered. But I'm going to hit legs. I will see you guys afterwards because I'm definitely going to go get some breakfast. What's up, guys? It is May 8th, which makes this day 52 of summer shredding. I'm having what I like to call a mid-diet crisis. Okay, some people have mid-life crisis. I've been cheating all day. Earlier today, I went to first watch and I had avocado toast and a french toast. I don't know if it looked big on camera, but it's a lot of food. Next up, the McDonald's. I got a quarter pounder and a six piece tenders meal um, with a large fry and a drink. And then I'm gonna go to the movies. I'm probably gonna have some popcorn, some candy, and a 42 ounce slushy. Followed up with probably some Donatos. The next 38 days that I have left on this diet are gonna be really strict. So tomorrow, I'll go into exactly the macros that I'm gonna be eating every single day. I keep it so boring. I literally will eat the same thing like every single day, but I wanted to share with you guys my mid-diet crisis. It happens to a lot of people, especially if you do like a 90-day program. So I gotta do these cheat meals until like the last 30 days when I can really do the shred. So, very excited to move forward. Hopefully, if you guys are following me on this shred, you guys will too have a mid-diet crisis. Splurge out, let me know what you guys eat. Um, try and total up all the calories. I'm gonna try and do that today for you guys and throw it up on the screen. Hopefully I keep it under 4,000. It's delicious. The other day I went on YouTube and I saw videos of celebrities eating the new Quarter Pounder. It was awesome. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Charles Barkley, he really enjoyed that Quarter Pounder. It's delicious. I'm gonna get back to eating. 
What's up, YouTube? 10.30, about to start game night, the movie. I just rented it. Um, went to CVS to kill some cravings. Ended up with Sour Patch Fruits. In one second, I'm going to show you what else I got, but I, I want this to be the good quality on the other side of the camera. Alright guys, that's going to be the last thing that I eat for the rest of the night, the bowl of Fruity Pebbles, super excited for that. So today was kind of like an epic disaster of everything that I ate. I'm going to weigh in really quick so you guys can see where I ended up before the bowl of cereal. 155.8. Tomorrow morning I'm going to get into exactly what I'm going to be eating for the next few weeks and um, I'm just going to go from there. So it's okay if you have a splurge day, don't feel guilty about it. I'm going to go enjoy the rest of my night. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning and we'll go over everything that we're going to be doing moving forward. Talk to you soon. May 9th, day 53 of summer shredding. Nick is at an all-time low. Nick, how much did you weigh in at this morning? 179. 179. It's the lightest he's been in recent time. Okay, probably the past year. In, in the past year. It's the lowest he's been in the past year. I'm going to weigh myself super quick because we're going to the gym. Let's see where I'm at after my full day of cheating yesterday on my mid-diet crisis. 153.9. So I went way backwards, but it's okay. I'm not mad about it. We're gonna be all right. Today we are going to be hitting probably a combination. I know Nick wants to hit some arms. I want to do a little bit of chest, but we will get both in there. Um, it's really good to do the body parts you like the most after a cheat day. So I'm gonna use some sparkling smart water because I accidentally bought it. I meant to buy regular smart water. In my pre-workout with pump fuel, a scoop of Vitargo. I'm gonna mix this crap up and get to the gym very quick. I'll see you guys there. What's up guys? It is May 10th, making this day 54 of summer shredding. I just wanted to go over what just happened in the past couple days really quick before I end out this video. So you guys see a cheat day and I approximated my calories and I was just over 5,000 calories. I think it was 688 grams of carbs, 195 of fat, and 150 of protein. I call it a mid-diet crisis. I literally just ate everything, everything. If I drove past a McDonald's, I got McDonald's. If I wanted candy, I went to Giant Eagle, I got the candy. Then I got Fruity Pebbles at the end of the night. I ate probably half the box of cereal. It was uh, absolutely incredible. I'm not worried about what that one day did to the diet. I typically will cheat once a week, and instead of just doing like one meal or two meals, I kind of just splurged out the whole day. Moving forward, I'm gonna show you guys the new macros that I'm doing. Between 170 and 180 grams of protein and carbs, and then less than 40 grams of fat. This is what I'm gonna be doing for the next 35 days until everything's done. 1,800 calories is about where I wanna be. I'll be doing some cardio towards the end of this just to kind of cut a little bit more and if I have to make any adjustments because I'm not losing fat fast enough, I'll, I'll do that then. I'm going to be doing a lot of the elite eating CLE stuff. I'm going to do two of those meals every single day. That's what I'm going to be doing moving forward. Hopefully you guys are able to see the dramatic transformation now. I know we've kind of just been playing tug of war around the same weight. And 90 days might have been a little too long so I'm kind of just trying to balance out cheap meals but eat healthy, build good habits and now that it's down to the final stretch, you guys are really going to see the big changes moving forward i'll be waking up early with sean sean actually is gaining some weight i can't wait to show you guys in my next video it's going to be about sean's transformation and he was actually just getting on me because we didn't go left this morning like we were supposed to so it's really good to have people that are holding you accountable hopefully you guys have enjoyed everything so far i'm going to go into cle nutrition and get my first shake of the day so i will talk to you guys soon thank you so for thank you so much for watching like subscribe and like subscribe Oh my gosh. Thank you so much for watching. Like, thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, and share. Talk to you soon.